In the first season of Zoe 101, Kristen Herrera, Alexa Nicholas, and I became fast friends. Kristen, who played Dana Cruz, and I clicked immediately. But all three of us spent time together on and off set. On the weekends, we would have sleepovers, go to the beach, the mall, or just hang out. We were typical girls talking fashion and boys. Alexa, who played Nicole Bristow, noticed that Kristen and I were growing closer, which caused some issues. Three is the worst number for girls, because invariably one always feels left out. Throughout the shooting season, we had our fair share of fun and fights, just like all girls our age. But slowly I started to feel like there was something amiss. Late into season one, rumors about me began to spread among the cast and extras. At first, it was small lies, things like people saying I was mean or bitchy. Everyone was telling me that Alexa was the one making these false claims. I went to the producers to share my concerns. Then, the rumors took on a more sinister feel. I was led to believe that Alexa told extras that I smelled bad and other things that I couldn't control. I would leave the set humiliated and sad. I cried many times after work and had to hide my feelings. The way her mother walked around on set, as if she owned it and whispered to her daughter incessantly, seemingly about me, raised concerns. For all I know, someone was feeding her lies and instigated the problems we experienced. I began to suspect that she was interested in having me thrown off the show in hopes that they would make Alexa the star. I did all I could to manage the situation, but over time it became more difficult. I went to the producer several times to issue complaints. After the first season, Kristen left the show because the producers wanted a change, and she was replaced by Victoria Justice. The cast realized changes could be made at any time, and I wasn't experiencing any whispers or unpleasant looks. Things improved temporarily. Alexa's attention was diverted by the arrival of a new cast member, but weeks into shooting, another particularly vicious rumor spread that I had lice. Some of the extras seemed put off, and I felt unwarranted shame. The situation made me an emotional wreck and in the need of support, so I went to my big sister for guidance. A few days later, a very pregnant Brittany came to set to visit and have a chat with Alexa. Brittany asked the PA to bring Alexa to my trailer. I was on set at the time. Alexa, who was really into fame and connections, was excited that my sister wanted to speak with her. The door was open when Alexa walked in. Brittany didn't waste any time getting to the point. Are you making fun of my sister? Telling lies and spreading rumors? You shouldn't do that. Brittany told her that she wouldn't keep her job if she continued to treat people that way. Alexa scurried away from the trailer. After that chat, Alexa didn't blatantly bully me, and once season two was in the can, she was dismissed from the show. She later spoke of being bullied on the set of Zoe. For years, I took the high road and ignored the story. I don't remember ever bullying anyone, especially a coworker on set. Considering the cruel way I felt she treated me and tried to turn the cast and crew against me, her claims seemed designed to garner attention once her fame had waned. I can't control how she perceived our dynamic, but I can say I wouldn't have hurt her on purpose. That's just not me. Looking back, I think that all of these are normal childhood challenges, but in a working environment with parents and producers involved, the drama of these events intensified. Some of it was a result of just too much time spent in each other's company. 